Hi. So TechMath released this video um, explaining how to instantly work out the square root of any number. It's uh, an approximation, but it works, and um, I'm going to show you why it works, or at least how it works, how it's derived. So here we're seeing, you know, he's going to calculate the square root of 39. That's quite difficult. Um, so let's go over here. This result requires uh, knowledge of calculus, fair, um, um, and you know a grasp of algebra. So we're going to start by defining our function. We want to work out f of x, where f of x is the square root of x, right? And the first thing we're going to do is take the derivative f dash of x equals 1 over 2 root x. This is a common result. People who aren't uh, comfortable with um, taking derivative, I have a video explaining intuitively what it is. Um, but and for people who are, um, you'll be quite alright with this result. Now the thing we're going to use is called the Taylor series or the Taylor-McLaren series, and it's an expansion of an approximation of a function. And this is normally not taught in a, um, you know, in a basic calculus class. So if we take the Taylor-McLaren series, basically says that if we take f of x, this is approximately equal to f of a plus x minus a f dash of a. And this goes on to infinity. There's more and more terms, and the closer to infinity you get, the um, closer to f of x you get. And I won't try and derive the Taylor series. Someone can look up a der derivation of the Taylor series. I may put some in the description, but um, we'll take this for granted. Uh, so with this knowledge, knowing that we're going to times by f dash of a here and you know, add it on, we can see where this div extra division by 2 comes from, where he, where tech math um, has an extra 2 in the denominator of his, uh, of his fraction. Um, so let's substitute in for f of x. We need to know because we're trying to work out an approximation of f of x, we don't substitute, substitute on the left-hand side, but we are going to substitute in a. So f of a is root a plus x minus a over 2 root a. So we're just from here to here. Right. And obviously we can continue. Um, now let's, I mean, let's try calculating the square root of 39 like we did before. There's one thing that we don't know yet, and that's our value of a. So our value of a needs to be easy to calculate for this trick to work, right? We could pick any value of a here, but for this to work, we need a value of a which is easy to square root and is easy to subtract from x. And because of that, we pick the smallest perfect square smaller than 39. So um, a equals 36. And this is what TechMath does in this video. Any perfect square would work, but then this term would be more difficult to calculate. Or any not perfect square would work, but then this term would be, you know, with the whole reason we have this trick is to try and calculate square root. Okay. So square root of 39 equals f of 39, which is approximately equal to the square root of 36 plus 39 minus 36 over 2 root 36. And it's kind of all coming together now. So if we try and calculate this, we get 6 plus 3 over 2 times 6. 
equals 6 plus um, 1 over 4 equals 6.25. We can see, if we go back to Tech Maths video, that this is in fact the result that he gets, and these are the same numbers on the numerator and denominator. Um, but there is something curious. If we go here, uh, we are get getting a number that's above. You know, it's not a perfect approximation. We never said it was. Um, we're getting a, n a number that's above our actual answer. So 6.25 is bigger than 6.24, which is approximately equal to the square root of 39. Why is this? Well, the Taylor series continues. Um, let's just why. Taylor series continues f of x. <laughs> it's approximately equal to. Um, from before f dash a plus x minus a sorry, not f dash of a, just f of a f dash of a plus and here's where we, here's where it gets a little bit more um, tedious and difficult to calculate in your head at least f dash dash of a Right, and this is the next term in our expansion, and the only thing that we don't know from this term yet is obviously a, which will vary depending on what we need to calculate, and f dash dash of x or f dash dash of a. So all we need to do is take the derivative of this again, and that will equal minus one over two over four x to the three over two. Um, and this, this is the key here. This negative sign tells us that what's going to happen with this um, expansion is that we're going to, if this is the square root of 39, or the square root of x, then we're going to start above, or we're going to start uh, below with f of a, and we're going to come above with the second term, and then because the third term is a minus, we go below it, coming up and down, and as we go to infinity, we oscillate smaller and smaller, until eventually, at infinity, we reach uh, the square root of 39. And because as we take the derivative of this, it will be a plus, and a minus, and so on and so forth, until infinity. And I would try and calculate this, but we'd end up trying to um, do x uh, 6 cubed, which is uh, possible. But, you know, kind of um, tricky to do mentally. Um, so it's not so useful to, to approximate. What is useful is knowing that our answer here will always, always, always be an over-approximation. Um, so, thank you for watching. I hope that this has helped you understand why tech maths trick works. If it if you have a basic understanding of calculus or whatever. If you don't, I hope it helps to pique your interest and that you go on to um, look up the things you don't know in this video. Um, so thank you and goodbye.